I could definitely get used to this nice weather for spring sports. Did you get a chance to enjoy it this weekend? You know, I did, Aaron. I was actually lucky enough to go spend my time watching America's favorite pastime as the University of Iowa baseball team played in their home opener yesterday against the AIB Eagles. They won that game 7-1, to and 2015 has been a special season thus far for the Hawks, in particular for two pitchers. I take a look. The Iowa baseball team is off to a 10-1 start in the young 2015 season as they are building off a successful 2014 campaign under second-year coach Rick Heller. For two members of the Hawkeye squad, this season means they get to be back in the dugout together, something they had become quite used to during their careers. I know we've been playing with each other since, I don't know, probably since Little League, so we've known each other real well, we've been best friends over the years. Pitchers Calvin Matthews and Josh Marching have been teammates since Little League and led their alma mater Davis County to an Iowa State baseball title in 2011. Marching recently made his first appearance in 2015 in relief of Matthews after undergoing Tommy John surgery last year. I was just happy for Josh and the whole team was that, that he was able to get back out there and, and, and pitch as well as he did and it just shows you what we're going to get down the road. It's pretty crazy to have um, Two pitchers as good as they are come from the same little high school, you know, Davis County Bloomfield, and uh, great for great for their their town in Southeast Iowa. And it's awesome to have them up here. I mean, first of all, it was good to be back there, you know, after taking a year off. But uh, you know, uh, Calvin did, did a great job, like usual, and uh, I was just the next man in. I was able to get the job done. Uh, he just went out and proved himself. Uh, he hadn't really had a chance yet to go out and prove himself since he had Tommy John. So. It was just nice to see him go out there and get his confidence back and uh, have a few solid innings for us on the mound. The bond between these two outstanding student athletes has helped them grow from small town, class 2A Iowa State champions, to household names in the Big Ten. Austin Luce, Daily Iowa TV Sports. The Iowa baseball team will be headed south over spring break as they make a trip to Texas to take on Houston Baptist. In closing out spring break, they will head back to the Midwest to face the Kansas Jayhawks in Lawrence starting on March 20th. <laughs> It was an unexpectedly short appearance for the men's basketball team in the Big Ten tournament today. Number 13th ranked Penn State pulled the upset over Iowa, ranked at the number five spot. Iowa led most of the game up by eight at halftime, but once Penn State <laughs> took the lead in the second half, the Hawkeyes just couldn't claw back. Final score ended in a 67-58 win for the Nittany Lions. For more on the loss, check out our blog at dailyiowansports.com. The last home meet was an emotional night for the women's gymnastics team. For the seniors, it was the last time they would compete in Carver Hawkeye Arena. And who better to close out their season against than their in-state rival, Iowa State. The Hawkeyes were able to come out on top against the Cyclones after four rotations, with sophomore Angel Metcalf leading the Hawkeyes with her performance on the beam. And senior Sydney Hare with another impressive floor routine, giving her a career best on the event with a 9.925. Another senior with a big night was Caitlin Tanzer, who tallied her season best with a 9.725 on her floor routine. Tanzer said emotions were high all night, and the girls were focusing on giving it their all to honor their seniors. Honestly, every time we come out here is incredible, but it was even more amazing tonight, just having it senior night and everyone just, you know, pulling for you in every single way possible. And you could tell everyone was just giving it their all, no matter what. The Hawks closed out the competition with a 195.775 to 195.175 victory over ISU. Head coach Larissa Libby said she is proud of the team and happy for the seniors after such a big win. But I'm also so grateful that it turned out as well as it did. We wanted the seniors to make sure that they took a second after every time they landed to just appreciate what's been done. But Libby and the team are now setting their sights on the Big Ten tournament and some kinks that they need to work on before then. We're making mistakes on the events that are easy, <laughs> so, um, which is interesting. We need to go back and work on um, getting those landings a little bit better, casting the handstand every single time. Uh, the thing that I like is that they're controlling their environment. And a controlled environment will be extremely important as the Jim Hawks have a tough road ahead, taking on Michigan, Minnesota, Penn State, and Rutgers on Saturday for the Big Five meet and then traveling to Ann Arbor, Michigan for the Big Ten Championship on March 21st. I mean, it'll just be fun to get out there and show everyone what we've been working on, and it's been an incredible season. We've been building ever since the beginning, and I expect us to continue to climb throughout the end of season. Taylor Barks, Daily Iowan, TV. Thanks, Taylor. The win over the Cyclones was their first since March of 2013. 
The Big Five meet on Saturday begins at 4 in the Sports Pavilion in Minneapolis. The meet will serve as the Big Ten qualifier deciding which session the teams will compete in what session and what their rotation order is. Iowa will face off against three ranked competitors at the number 6 Wolverines, number 20 Gophers, and the number 12 Nittany Lions.